guys, here I am again, and I'm about to make eggplant bacon. Yep, it's going to be eggplant bacon. Now, this is Clay's recipe, and Clay is at work right now, so I am on the job. So, hi, Clay. If you're on your lunch or you're on break and you see me, hi, Clay. Love you. are on your way home. Sometimes, you know, he gets a second to look at stuff. You know, might be waiting in the car before work or after work, whatever. So, anyway, um, eggplant chop up like a bacon piece you know this was the end of some of my eggplant that I'm dehydrating so I'm going to show you how to do this I wanted you to see that there's seeds in mine so I'll just kind of throw it in there and uh, I'm going to show you how to make the mixture take two knives too if you get like a, if you need to sharpen your knife you know think of me as your mom I just take them just like you see on TV the guys you know sharpen them against each other I do that a lot so anyway here you go you can see that I'm pouring the mixture over this. This is going to marinate. Ooh. This is going to marinate. <laughs> I just want to wipe those up. This is going to marinate for a couple hours. Um, and I'm going to stick it in my refrigerator, but I wanted to show you it. All right. Here's how to make it. Are you ready? Are you ready? Eggplant bacon. You're going to take liquid smoke. I'm going to read it to you. A for us. Let me start again. Liquid smoke, a half a teaspoon. Soy sauce, a fourth a cup. Olive oil, a fourth a cup. Paprika, three teaspoons. Salt, one teaspoon. Cider vinegar, three tablespoons. Syrup, a fourth a cup. Pepper, one pinch. Onion powder, shake. Now with this particular bacon, Clay uses beef bouillon. And I couldn't find the beef bullion, but either way, it didn't matter because I would have used this anyway. Because this is the Orpington Farms Broth Based Seasoning, and this is made by Mrs. Wages, and you can pick this up. And what I liked about this is that it has a ham flavor, so I said, let's use the ham flavor. It's bacon. So, but you can use beef broth if you need to. But uh, if you go to MrsWages.com, she has a lot of stuff. I've been shopping there for years they're always part of our best product tours because we love them they're just you know if you haven't seen those go to my blog and look at product reviews you're going to see all the companies that we feel are good companies that you know you would like to shop at so check those out and what we think about some of those and what's out there so anyway um the recipe just going to have to play it back oops i dropped the olive oil doesn't matter it's empty anyway <laughs> so I will stick this in the refrigerator for a couple hours you can go longer you can go overnight whatever you feel like it then what you do is you dehydrate it now it's going to come out crisp like almost like styrofoam you don't want to take it out too early and then you can either jar it up which I do that eat it for snacks or what Clay likes to do is to make BLTs out of this it's really good and it's a great way to use up your zucchini um, I'm not a vegan at all. I am a carnivore. <laughs> I like my meat. <laughs> if, actually, if I don't eat meat, I'll start to feel really tired. Because, you know, living on a the farm, there's days that I eat lots and lots of vegetables. And it'd be like, when was the last time I ate meat? And I said that to myself the other day. When was the last time I ate meat? And I said, oh my goodness, Friday I had fish with my mom. I said, I need to get some protein because I am feeling so sluggish. And so, um... I woke up in the middle of the night and I made a sausage sam sandwich. So that was, you know, that. But that's, you know, that's me. You know, I'm, I believe in eating meat. But that's, like I said, that's me. I, I need the protein. I need the vitamins. I need all that stuff to make my brain function the way I need it. So, you know, but, uh, you know, that's, like I said, that's what I, that's what I do. So, you know, anyway, I, I share that to say, um, this, you don't have to be a vegan to eat eggplant bacon. It's just a good way to, you know, bacon's expensive. And if you want to, you know, have bacon or just have treats, you know, maybe you don't want to have eat all that bacon. I mean, really Americans eat way too much meat. You can eat like a deck of card of meal and that's good enough. So, um, you know, get your protein in, but don't, uh, you know, you don't overdo it either. There's issues with everything. So anyway, that being said, make some eggplant bacon, 
put it on the dehydrator until it's nice and crispy, jar it up, eat it in sandwiches, and you are going to kiss me if you like this recipe. And here's another thing about this recipe. You can change it up. But from my, my opinion is this is the best recipe I've seen ever, anywhere. You may have a different one, and please share, share it with us if you do, because um, I don't know everything for sure. But the other thing, too, I want to make a point is skin, skin, skin your bacon. Because if you don't, you're gonna, it's going to be like eating little pieces of rock. You won't like it. You have to cut that skin off. And uh, some people bake it in the oven and stuff, too. But I think the dehydrator is the way to go. It just comes out nice. Sometimes if you do stuff like that, it just comes out slimy. And I want my bacon to crunch, 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 crunch. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Check out my previous videos for the day or in you know, other ones. I did something on freebies today. And if you stick around, I'm going to be doing a special video on my cat, which you're going to like this one because I'm trying. I have a suspicion that my cat could be something different and you might be able to help me. So like, subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. And please um, check out my next video too. God bless.